If you are interested in using Surf API to collect data from various search engines but do not know how to code, you are in the right place. In this video, we will show our no-code solution using the Google Sheets extension. First, create a new Google Sheets file on your Google Drive. Go to the extensions, add-ons, get add-ons, search for Surf API. You'll click this result and click install. You'll be prompt to choose an account and allow the permissions. Once you are done, you will be asked to register your API key. You can get your API key by go to the surfapi.com dashboard. Make sure you have registered a free account at surfapi.com. You can copy your key from the dashboard and paste it here. Now you are ready to use Surf API in your file. Surf API provides many search engines, for example, Google Search, Google Maps, Google Jobs, eBay, YouTube, and so on. In this video, we will focus on using Google Search API. Head over to our playground. Here you can play with any search query, any parameter, depends on your search engine. Again, we are using Google Search API for this. For example, we are searching for a keyword. In the playground, we can see the search result in here on the left side and the JSON response on the right side. JSON is a format data. You can click to any of the item on the left side. For example, I'm clicking this image here and you can see where this item located in our JSON response. Another example, I'm going to click on our first results from Amazon and I can see it's located in the organic results in an array. Whenever you see this square bracket symbol in an item in the JSON response, it means the items are inside an array. Think of array just like a box where you can have multiple items. For example, this array includes the first result, second result, and so on. The interesting part in the playground, we can head over to the export to code in the top right corner and choose the programming language we want to use. In this case, we want to use the Google Sheets formula. So I will copy the code from this area and put it in any cell we want. For example, I'll put it in this B2 cell. I'll paste the code and wait a little bit, you'll see an error. If you get an error like this, this is expected. First, click on the B2 and we will learn what formula we are using right now. So if you take a look at the formula section here, we are using a function called SERP API result which consists of two parameters. Parameters is whatever inside this parenthesis. Now you can see we have two values which is separated by a comma value here. The first part of the parameter is the search query we are using for this search. You can adjust the engine, the keyword, the location, and so on. Again, you can get all this value automatically by playing with our playground. And the second part of the formula which caused this error is the value we want to display. Currently, this is just a template that we have to change. So to get the actual value, we will head over to the playground again. And for example, I'm clicking the first item here. We will see which key this item are in. We are seeing organic results here. So instead of suggestions, I will use the organic results. Zero value is used here to get the first results. Because in a programming word, an array will start the index from zero. So if you want to get the first position, we will write zero instead of one. So the second position will be number one as well. That's a little bit confusing, but that's the general rule when using an array. So now we have organic results, zero to get the first result, and we still need to choose which key we want to display. For example, I want to get the title value here. So I will get the title key and use it instead of value here. Now I'll click away from this formula and we can see the keyboard title is here. I'll try to copy and paste the same formula, but this time I choose the first position instead. Click enter, and now I will see computer keyboard just like what we see here. If we want to loop a results from an array like this, we can use the function from spreadsheet itself. I'll create an index here, start from zero, because our array start from zero. Let's say I'll get up to five results here. Now, instead of our initial formula, I will change the zero become dynamic to get the value from the A2 cells. So now I change this. Uh, first, to concat a string or a text, I'll wrap the quote here and use the ampersand sign, adding the cell where the value is located, which is on A2. Previously, I hard coded it with zero number. Now I change it to be dynamic. I use ampersand sign again and use the quote to concat the next string as well. So now if I click enter here. I'll get the same result, but now the formula is not using a hard coded zero number. Instead, it's get the value from A2. So now I'll drag this until B7 
7 and the rest of the value will be adjusted as well for example on our b3 here if we take a look at the formula it used it's now use a3 instead of number one and same is with the next cell a4 a5 and so on so this is how we can make the value dynamic now let's say we want to get the rest of the data as well for example we want to add the snippet and the link as well first i'll prepare the column to make it nice and easy to see i'll add the title snippet and link as the header here with a simple background like this and now i'll just copy the value from here to here but instead using title i will add snippet and just like before i can drag and drop to make it dynamic like this. Now for the link, I can paste the same value, but instead of title, this time I will add the link and drag and drop it just like before. We can give more room here. Now we can see the title, snippet, and the link for the top ranking results from Google search. Please note that not every result is in an array. For example, if you are take a look at the search parameters here or the search information, we can also get each of this information without playing with the index number. For example, I'm going for the total results here so i copy any of the number just to be clear i'll add the value here total results now instead of getting the organic results i will add the search information dot total results i'll add the search information dot total results like this so no need to put zero in between let's see how it goes and perfect we have the total results here as well so even if you are not familiar with json just remember if the key or the value you want to get is inside a simple object like this you can just take each of the key name but if it's in an array or it has multiple items it shows with a square bracket like this then you need to put an index before like menu items dot zero dot title link or serp api link here